consider cylinder of radius 4R and height H. A smaller cylinder of radius R is removed from the center to form a hollow cylinder. The total surface area of the hollow cylinder in centimeters squared is given by S. The volume of the hollow cyl cylinder in centimeters cubed is given by V. Question A shows that S, which is what uh, the total surface area, is equal to this expression. And the total surface area consists of what? Two areas like this, it's empty inside, it's top and bottom, this and this, and this radius is 4R, and inner radius is just R. And area of a circle, it's, it's uh, uh, what? It's uh, pi radius squared, uh, so it can be found as pi 4R squared, it's uh, area of this circle minus area of this small circle which is actually actually empty uh, space it's and it's what pi radius squared and then it should be multiplied by 2 because there are two side surfaces and then what about lateral surfaces it um, it consists of what this curved uh, lateral surface of a cylinder and formula is given in a data booklet and it says that it's what it's 2 pi uh, r and times height and if we consider this outer uh, curved surface area of a cylinder it becomes it becomes to what 2 uh, pi and the radius radius it's 4 4 r and times height, height is h. And then also um, there is uh, the curved surface area of this uh, inner part and it becomes just what? Uh, curved surface area of a uh, cylinder with radius r and it's uh, also 2 pi radius, radius is uh, just r and uh, height is also h. So. So S is 2 times pi 4R squared minus pi R squared plus 2 pi times 4R times H plus 2 pi R H and it becomes 2 it's what 16 minus 1 it's uh, times 15 pi radius squared plus plus it's uh, what 8 times 2 plus 10 pi r h and finally it's uh, 30 pi radius squared plus 10 pi r h let's check because it's uh, actually the required answer to be obtained 30 pi radius squared yes and plus 10 pi r h yes it's correct the next the total uh, the total surface area of the hollow cylinder is uh, 240 pi centimeter square shows that volume is equal to this First of all, what is volume? Volume can be found as volume of this uh, large uh, uh, cylinder with radius 4R uh, minus this inner cylinder, which is actually empty space. Uh, it's a cylinder with radius R. So we can say that so it was A. It's A. And B. So volume is volume of a cylinder, it's what? The area of a base pi radius squared times height. So for the radius with radius uh, 4R, it becomes pi 4R 
squared, it's area, uh, it's area, uh, area of a base times height, which is h, minus pi r squared times h. Just a volume of this cylinder, minus uh, with radius 4r and height h minus the volume of this cylinder with radius r and height h, which is uh, empty space. And it becomes uh, 16 minus 1, it's 15 pi r squared h, and, and you can see that it uh, must be in terms of r only, and we can use uh, that as so 30 pi r squared plus 10 pi r h is equal to 240 pi and we can solve uh, for h this and substitute for for uh, for h into expression for volume and you can see that pi cancels also 10 cancels let's rewrite so it becomes 3 r squared plus r h is 24 then h becomes 24 minus 3 r squared divided by r and volume becomes 15 pi r squared multiplied by h which is 24 minus 3 r squared divided by r and you can see r, r cancels and it becomes 15 pi r 24 minus 3 r squared which is uh, 24 times 15 it's 240 plus uh, a half which is 120 yes it's 360 pi r minus 45 pi r cubed as required yes then c find an expression for derivative dv over dr so the derivative becomes it's uh, just uh, uh, x to the power of n and derivative it's uh, what is just n times x to the power of n minus 1 so r to the power 1 is just 360 pi minus uh, 45 times 3 which is what which is 100 and 20 plus uh, 15 so it's 135 pi r squared then the hollow cylinder has its maximum volume when r is uh, p root uh, over 2 over 3 where p is positive integer find the value of p to be maximum or minimum uh, uh, what uh, derivative uh, should be equal to zero so equating derivative to zero hundred and sixty pi minus one hundred and thirty five uh, pi r squared we get and we get that r squared is what three hundred and sixty over one hundred and thirty five can divide by five five it's uh, what seventy two and uh, by five it's uh, what it's uh, 27 yes and it is divisible by 3 so it's uh, uh, 60 and 12 by 3 it's <coughs> 24 and by 3 it's 9 
yes and uh, you can see that it also can be divided by 3 to get 8 over 3 it's radius squared uh, in general uh, radius is plus, plus minus uh, square root but definitely radius it's, uh, uh, is positive so r is square root of 8 over 3 and 8 it's what 4 times 2 over 3 and root of 4 it's 2 and uh, multiplied by root of 2 over 3 so p is 2 de hence finds its maximum volume giving your answer in the form cube pi root of 2 over 3 so volume so substituting this r into expression for volume where it is so volume becomes volume becomes 360 pi and r which is 2 root of 2 over 3 minus 45 pi r cubed so 2 root of uh, 2 over 3 cubed 45 okay so it becomes 360 times uh, 2 root 2 over 3 pi minus 4 uh, pi and 45 and 2 cubed it's 8 it's 8 and uh, root cubed it's squared times root so squared it's 2 over 3 times root and and you can see it's 15 it's 15 and and definitely we can factor out uh, root uh, and pi or uh, consider them just uh, like uh, like terms and uh, finally finally it becomes or actually to be more simpler to calculate okay so it becomes uh, 720 minus 15 times 16 15 times 16 it's uh, 160 plus uh, 80 it's 240 minus 240 and it's what uh, 400 uh, 480 480 pi root of 2 over 3 centimeters cubed So Q is Q is four hundred and eighty. And that's all for this question.